In this video, I will discuss three reasons why you should not delete your semi. And at the end of this video, I will address some of the common misconceptions. Guys, this is an educational video. So if you like this type of content, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we go live or when we release a new video. Let's get right into this video. Now, why should you take my opinion on not deleting your truck? I've been servicing semis before the enforcement of after treatment systems. So I've seen all types of makeshift ways to debug the after treatment system. I have also seen many trucks in the shop for low power, high oil consumption, and no start complaints. Damage caused by attempting to delete the after treatment system is mainly the root cause of these failures. The number one reason not to delete your truck is decreasing the longevity of your semi. Your semi is an investment and investing in a low cost solution may cost you more in the long run. There's no quality control on the types of deletes that are on the market. It is easy to buy a hack delete or a tune that will improve performance and give you more horsepower. Keep in mind, significantly increasing the engine fueling will accelerate wear factors and cause excessive carbon buildup, increasing the chances of cylinder scuffing, a fuel pump failure, or injector failure. There's no block off plate or hole in the DPF that will increase the longevity of your semi engine. The second reason not to delete your semi is the demand for trucks. With no signs of letting up, the current truck supply cannot meet the demand and has increased the cost of used trucks. This means your truck is worth more and should not be gambled with by attempting to delete the after treatment system. Engineers have designed all diesel platforms to be tamper proof. No one has the correct parts and authority to produce a proper delete. So why gamble your asset with a cheap solution? The third and final reason not to delete your truck is that it's illegal. The Clean Air Act has required specific gear models to be equipped with after treatment systems. Removing these systems will be a direct violation of the Clean Air Act and may be punishable by law. The responsibility to cut down on carbon is spread across all areas of the transportation sector, including maritime. Try working out in the garage with the doors closed and your semi idling next to you for the guys who don't believe that carbon is harmful. I'm just kidding guys, do not try that. Carbon is harmful. So after treatment systems are designed to capture these pollutants and lower the engine's carbon footprint. Can these systems be problematic? Yes. Can these systems be maintained to reduce the chances of unexpected downtime? Yes. Following your maintenance intervals, maintaining optimal duty cycle, and using a knowledgeable shop will reduce unexpected downtimes. Now I would like to cover some of the misconceptions that I've seen. Some suggest that I work for the EPA and I'm funded by them to advocate after treatment system usage. Guys, I do not have that type of authority and if I did, I would not be doing YouTube videos. Listen, I understand the public sentiment about the Clean Air Act and I know the cost of clean air. There are some government grants and incentives for running an after treatment system, and it seems that there are more to come. Another misconception is that shops want after treatment systems to have something to work on. Guys, we had a full shop before after treatment systems, and we would have a full shop if after treatment systems were not enforced. The truth is, here at TAT Express, we strive for excellence. So staying up to date with the proper tools and training is our priority. The last misconception is that trees process carbon into oxygen, so there's no issue with carbon. Now this is true, trees do process carbon into oxygen. The rainforest is considered a carbon sink and so is the ocean. Both the rainforest and ocean are significant carbon sinks. The only issue is that it cannot absorb the amount of carbon humanity is producing. Humans current carbon production is over 40% of what both the ocean and rainforest can absorb. So over time, this smog will continue to thicken, primarily over high congestion areas such as cities and ports. The smog acts as a barrier and does not allow the sun's radiation that reflects from the Earth's surface to escape. This trapped solar radiation causes, causes increase in temperature and pressures in the affected areas. This rapid change in temperature and pressure is what causes most powerful storms not ever seen before. But don't take my word for it. Take some time to research the greenhouse effect and climate change. Lastly, 
When did it become not cool to care about the earth? Since the beginning of time, mankind has always lived off the earth. Since when we were wild men, the earth has nurtured humanity as we evolved. The earth has been our only source of survival. Why wouldn't we care for it? It's not like we have another earth to move to or an extra earth to waste. Guys, I understand everyone has beliefs and I respect that. And I also know that some beliefs can be more damaging than good. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. We are releasing new repair videos soon. So be sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified when we go live and when we release a new video. We are now servicing at our new location, 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas 75241. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. TAT Express is also hiring, so if you feel like you can bring value to our team, be sure to apply online. Link in the description below. Guys, until next time, be safe.